Hi right, folks, another oil painting, small one, 10 by 8. Uh, just a couple of words about materials and paints. I can't show the uh, mixing and the painting at the same time. Uh, <clears throat> it's still a bit choked up from using a, f a recommended non-toxic fluid brush, brush cleaner called Zest It. I would recommend everybody to read the label on this. It's anything but. It's a very toxic substance which led me to my doctor's and a course of steroids. Uh, so be careful, I'm using uh, Swarfiga now, which is a very widely used, good for the hands and grease remover. And these are my brushes I've been used, cleaning with it. A couple of inch flats, lovely and glossy, lovely and soft, lovely and clean. Uh, so I use the small finger for the brush cleaner. I, I I don't I'm not cleaning these on the way. I I just keep them clean, a light and a light and a dark brush as I go, and I just use a bit of cloth, squeeze out the spare paint, and carry on. Um, and I'm using uh, walnut oil, which is uh, cooking oil. Of salad oil, non toxic, Sainsbury's. Look at that nice big bottle of that, and a bit of um, drying linseed oil, which is also non toxic. So, I would urge you to check your things. This is why I picked up oil painting years ago when I was doing loads of Venice paintings. I was cleaning my brushes with kerosene, wonderful brush cleaner, kept the bristles lovely and soft, but it mucks up your lungs. So be very, very careful not to breathe in this stuff if you use it. <coughs> I'm sure they were recommended in good faith, but uh, I, I, stupidly, I didn't read the label, I took their word for it. So check the labels when you buy these, these mediums. There's another one that's highly toxic. There's a Taylor Rowney one, I should have had this Alkyd Flow Medium. Wonderful stuff to use. But look, it's got all the warnings on it. And I didn't read it. If I didn't have petroleum distillates contains, they're not good. But uh, that's my advice anyway. There are alternatives. So I'm going to have a go at a, a sort of a lake scene. Um, I'm working from an old painting that I did several, a couple of years ago. But I'm not going to paint it as as a copy. I, want, I like my dramatic skies. We're using uh, this and this, this and start up. A bit, a bit of oil on the brush and a bit of bit of red. You can light red or or cadmium red, and just start to paint away. Plenty of oil. I've lightly gessoed this uh, board with. Uh, some PVA glue, dilutes, and a bit of uh, polyfiller, there we are, brand name, polyfiller, household crack repairer, very good stuff, it doesn't, the, the plaster of Paris dries very, very quickly, it reacts with the water, but uh, this stuff doesn't, it takes a while to dry, so you've, so you've got plenty of time to spread it out over your wet dilute so I'm, I'm going completely different with this one I won't show you the one I'm copying I've got to remember what I called it it's not a very good photograph, it's a bit dull now we can work up, this, this does leave a nice shine Provided you use enough oil, and it, it with the bit of alkyd in it, which I believe is a spirit based, alcohol based, so it's not petroleum. You might be okay with all those products, but I thought I was, but I'm not. And when you lose sleep for, for through a couple of nights because you can't get the breath, it's scary. And unnecessary. 
Right, so I'm using a, a lighter brush now. Oh no, I can use that one because I'm going to work into the sky. I want to uh, get some white and some cad yellow light and a bit of bit of cad red. Plenty of oil. I want to just work in some light so that I can show a background on this to superimpose my my distance. The white on I'm using I'll tell you my colours, the cadmium red, cadmium yellow light or pale, ultramarine and white, basically three colours. I've got more I've got black out and another couple of reds but I won't use them unless I get desperate. And um, the white I'm using is is um Griffin mixed with a bit of Winton. And the lovely thing about working with oil and using lots of oil medium is that it stays where you put it. It doesn't, that will dry like that. It's just a marvellous, marvellous stuff. Highly recommend. the walnut oil and it's so cheap if you buy it in the supermarket you can buy more refined versions of course okay we'll let that go and as that dries off a little bit I can blend a bit but I won't get in a get in my light blue background so it's just blue a bit of red in there just to just to give a little bit of bit of colour but I want it distant this is my my furthest bit back. Oh, that's, it's got a show. So that's the background. Maybe I need to do this guy on the horizon just a little bit. A little bit lighter, but we'll let it go for a minute because this is just an underpainting. Now we we'll go a bit darker. Oh, uh, let's uh, put in some of this here. Maybe it needs to be dark rather than lighter, let's have a... Yeah, let's have a... Yeah, we're expecting snow in the UK. It's not good, is it? Just as we think we're coming into a bit of, bit of spring, it starts to get a bit naughty again. Supposed to be spring. So you can change very quickly. Certainly, certainly you can with acrylic. So that's a bit of a blend there going on. Keep things soft. And now we we'll go back a bit more of that cloud back in the sky. Just an orange.
<coughs> Some streaky, a few hairs picking up there. Uh, it's a bit too regular that is, isn't it? So let's change it. Okay, we can do something with that now. A bit, a bit of red. Okay, it's trying to avoid symmetry, really. Right, that's, that sort of seems to show up okay. A lot of oil on there. Right, okay, let's go in with some some nice background of trees. So it's a little bit of a tree, trees are coming along this distant shore, but not that distant. I always try to tell myself that I'm making a painting, not the copy of anything. I'm just trying to create something that I like, that's pleasing to me. that darker blue behind those trees but not too dark I'll put some light on top of those trees this is just a distant bit underneath that, even more distant bit. sort of a nondescript misty background. Just keep working at it until you get something that you like. 
this is sort of abstract impressionism. It's how I try to see it. But it's that oil, it's the oil that, uh, that makes the difference to this. A new pinch of oranges made from the red and the yellow. But what I do today, I might not necessarily do tomorrow. Highlights on it, I think. Just using dumps of oil. Just catching a bit of light. I'm going to put some darker green back in there. My white has been out since yesterday. So it's got a little bit tacky now. Uh, right, let's put a bit of bit of bit of light in the uh, water now. Then I'll put a bit of uh, Some land in there. Try and blur that a little bit. With using oil, you don't need a lot of paint. Very delicate. Right now, put a bit dark.
I'm going to turn that up a little bit. I need, still need a bit of dark on that horizon. Fill that in a little bit there. It's uh, just a touch to smooth those and rough it up. I clean the brush off with a new rag. Right, let's go on to some bigger stuff in here now. Uh, I'll use another brush, I think. I'll use this little brush. Cheap Chinese bristle. <coughs> They're slowly losing their quality, these Chinese brushes. They were lovely, but uh, But not now. I've reduced the, the hairs in them. So this could be down here. Maybe have some fun. Some red in there. Can't be a bit of red. And then we'll come across here with a uh, Plenty of oil, just I'm doing more of these on uh, Patreon. If you've not looked at it, it's just a, a a way of contributing towards the cost of all these materials. in there. Now some shadowy, some shadowy darks. Just red, red and blue. I 
I try to do these with the uh, largest, largest brush possible. Some grasses just sticking up. Not the colour of grasses, but they're buried. Just a lovely mauvey colour mix. Bit of yellow, it's got a green. Right, I want to do something about sky again now. That was clean. Let's go that one. Try to find a nice light colour here that is Still using plenty of oil because it will it will dry. <laughs> Let's uh, take up some of this. Yeah, look at a bit higher there. Colour is a bit too bright.
just trying to get a bit of bit of colour in that background. That's a bit better, just highlighting the clouds. Is that better? Oh, that's a bit better. Got some shadow in there. Now I want to put in some of that nice light. Right, now we can just beef up that uh, distance, I think. I mean, those trees on that horizon. Now remember, this is only three colours. Still need more dark in that, so. Now we can put a bit of light relief in there. Oops. No, no, that's not that, not that colour.
Just some bits and pieces on on here. Not that. <laughs> Well, I don't know. It's a painting. Let's see if we can just see if we can lose some of that, but a bit of tiny bit of scumbled lighting. I'm not going to let that go. It's not the best I've done you know, over the week, but um, we'll put it in a, in a, in a frame. So bear with me. It's the best way to to see what we've done. Put a couple of little tacks in as well, just holding in position. Sometimes it's as hard to paint small as it is to paint large. But uh, anyway, <coughs> there it is. I don't think I can do much more to it. Let's just uh, oh, just zoom out. Yeah, I can't get any straighter than that. Well, that's right, move my camera over. Hold on. Oh, wrong way. Oh, there we are, that's not too bad. 
So a, a lake scene, I don't think my distance is very good on the top here, but uh, maybe just get a little bit of bit of blue, bluey colour. And just that might be a little bit better to show that distant bit there. Okay folks, well I'm going to go and clean my my two brushes with a small figure. <coughs> And tomorrow is another day and I've let my tea go cold. Ah, nothing worse than cold tea. Clouds are okay. Uh, I tried to get some of that colour there, the sky colour in here, but it's sort of washed out a bit when I've gone over it. But I've not used a rig or anything like that other than just to try to put a signature on it. What you think is not very good, somebody else might be very happy with it. squeeze out that paint and then I can go and uh, yeah well I hope you enjoyed that I hope you got something from it three colours cadmium yellow pale cadmium red and ultramarine and well, I didn't use any other colours I had two more reds a light red and a cadmium red light the um, the, the light red is a very dark, it's anything but light red, it's a, I think it was invented to paint the, the roof colours in Venice, but I'm not sure. Uh, and black, we've got black on there, but that's probably dried, dried off now. Anyway, see you maybe this afternoon, bye for now.